Hey guys, I am back on the para land based session. Very quick sesh. Got a new placky that I'm using. It's from a Mad Frother called Froth Baits. It's a two inch plastic. Um, he kindly sent me some, so thanks Sam for that. Two inch paddle tail plastic, really good profile, very small. And I'm going to throw it around for um, the brim on the edge here. Don't know how um, it's going to go today. It's just one of those quick sessions on the para in amongst work. And yeah, we're going to see how this lure swims and whatnot. It's not so much of, I'm not really giving it, giving it my all trying this lure. It's a very spontaneous session. And I just want to see if it gets the nib. It looks really good. And uh, that's what it's all about. So it's casted around here. I've got a 112 jig head. It's not the biggest tight, so we want to get it out there a bit. But definitely want to still stick around the edges and see if we can find some brimbos. There's heaps of structure, heaps of food source on the edges. Oyster, oysters. A bit of structure there, that yellow padding. So there could be some brim there. And a few pylons here. Which we might make our way to the left. But yeah, flathead brim. See what there is out here. See if we can catch something. Now, what am I running? A 20, uh, 2000 size reel, six pound on six pound fluoro, seven foot, one to three kilo. That's all you need, guys, and um, a bit of scent with that. And off we go. Let's see if we can connect to a few fish today. The current shouldn't be pumping too hard, so that 112 should be just right. That just hit the bottom there. That's a good start, we can feel the bottom there. That's what you want when you're fishing, just to feel that bottom. Give it a nice pause and let it sit there, a few twitches, and let it sit. And hopefully a flatty spots it and eats it. Not looking too deep out there though, so luckily we put that 1 12th on, just to get a bit of depth, just a bit of depth about it. Try near that yellow thing there and see if there's any brimbos hanging around out there. You really gotta be patient in winter. At least that's what I find targeting brim. You really need a bit more patience. Not gonna get that many numbers, but you will find that bigger brim. Mm, a bit of chop about. That's a cool looking drain. Always brim around drains, especially after a rain period. Try the outside of that yellow thing. Oh no, 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 get off. Oh, I'm on it. Stuffed up. Alright, so we've done a boo boo. We've got snagged up. So we're just going to do a cheeky breaking in here. I don't condone this, I condemn it, but it's my choice. Not like I'm gonna get into shit, I'm not doing anything. I'm just going for a flick, guys, so don't copy what I'm doing, but yeah. That's not a crab. Oh no, am I over that? That's silly. I'm on that pylon. Get off it, mate. Um, I'm not getting bites there, I'm not gonna keep casting there. I'm just gonna work my way like this and see if I can locate the fish on every cast in a different direction without a doubt anyways let's oh what i had a tailor just follow that and he munched it he got it good it was a puny tailor but he got it well we don't have our tackle with us so we're gonna walk back unfortunately back into the hole we go but a tailor got a hold of that placky and being a two inch it's gonna get snipped, as Taylor usually do. So we're chewing through these real quickly. One got snipped, one got snagged. Whatever's happening is happening right now. Just gotta deal with it. And put another one on. That looks pretty cool, man. That looks like we'll get eaten by a brim. I don't wanna cast in there. There's not a lot of... Oh, got hit on the drop. Actually got hit on the drop. I think that's a brim or a tailor. What is that? Oh, it's, a, it's a little bloody tailor, isn't it? On the drop, mate. 
on the droppy. Don't let go of the plastic, mate. Ah, gotcha. No damage. Love it. Big juicy brim. Ooh, oh, I thought I had a fish for a second. Silly stuff. Snipped. Snipperitis. All right. Round three. Got a different colour on now. Very cool looking colour. Can't remember what the colour's called, but we will be releasing them, so let's keep a lookout for that colour. Seems like that's the area. But I got snagged there, so I've got to be careful. Seems like that would be the area then. Where yeah, Brim will be. I really just want to cast in there, eh? I don't know how deep it is, but it just looks like a Brim will be there. I don't want to get snagged, don't get snagged. Please don't get snagged, mate. Look at this water running out. Yeah, that's the one, mate. There's a Brim there for sure. Come on. My brim bag there? No? That's all right. I think there's one in that corner. If I can get the cast right. I reckon there's one there. Ah, oh, too short. Way too short. I need to get it right. If I get the cast right, I reckon there's a brim sitting there. I don't know why I just seem so big. Oh yeah, that's the cast. There's got to be a room there. Oh yeah, look at that. See that? Cast of the day, that one. How good. Yes. See that, guys? Did you see that? That cast was perfect. This is not a bad brim. Yeah, it's pretty small, but I've got it right on the yellow. And he ate it. I knew there'll be a brim around there. There you go. On the bloody froth bait. So I gotta get in that cast right, eh? I'm telling you, man, if you get your cast right, you'll get one. That lure was right on the, on the money, and a brim ate it, and that's all it takes. You'll be casting for minutes or half an hour, not getting a hit, and then you find some structure like this, and if you can get your cast right, you'll catch a fish. Oh, oh no, there's a snag there, again. As you can see, I've chewed through all these froth baits, but I've got an idea. I rigged this at home and I spoke to Sam and said, this could work. And he agreed. So I'm going to rig it like a worm hook. And because... Because these plastics sink. They're not like Z-Man or Diver. Like they're not that elast elasto stuff. So they sink nice and slow. So if you rig it on a worm hook, weightless, and cast any structure, it should sink a slow, subtle drop. And if the fish are on top, and they're just feeding on structure. They'll eat this nine times out of ten, I reckon. So any placky that sort of has a natural sink to it, you can always rig it on a worm hook and see how you go. And that's what I'm going to do right now. The sun's coming down. We just capitalised on the brim on structure. So I think it could be a good time to try it. So let's do that. Very doable. Very doable land based. Try down here. Get it on the yellow, mate. Get it on the yellow, son. All right, let's see if this works. Let's see if the worm hook works. If I can get one more brim doing this, I'll be pretty happy, eh? I'll be pretty happy about that. I might have to skip this. Oh, yeah, good cast. Good cast, that one. Oh yes, again, it's the cast. Oh, it's not a bad one, I think. I think it's not a bad one, eh? 
Oh, same sort of size. On the yellow stuff again. On the worm hook. First time trying this plastic, rigged it on a worm hook. And look at that. Look at that for a hook up. Right in the corner of the jaw. Doesn't it get better than that? Again, right on the yellow stuff. It's all about the casting once again. And second Brimbo right there. Put him over there. And there's the placky. Alright guys, well that's gonna end the session on the Parramatta River. Trying a new lure from Froth Baits, Sam Mad Frother himself. Um great lure, two inch paddle tail, you cannot go wrong with that. I've just tried it um in a very spontaneous session, so didn't really give it my all, but definitely works. Caught two brim right on that yellow padding there. And it's all about getting the cast right. So if I've learned one thing today, and if you guys have learned one thing today is the casting always matters. If you get a really, really bang on the structure, you're gonna catch a fish. If you're a few centimeters short, you still might get the fish, but most of the times for myself, I find that you just don't get it. So you really just gotta keep casting until you get that right cast in, right on it. So, but yeah, that's, that's what I think anyways, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that little session and um, it's good to be back. I'll be posting more hopefully. And yeah, catch you next time.